Hello, my gorgeous friends. I hope you are well. Today, I have another mukbang. It's with Subway. It's one of my favorite things to eat. What can I say? It's uh, it's right here, and I'm I'm just I'm pretty much just ready to get into it. I just eat a cheese sandwich, extra cheese, throwing a little lettuce, throwing a little tomato. Uh, and then I ask for extra pickles. They put regular amount and I say, please a little more. I say, please, sir, may I have some, some more? And they say, what? And I say, more. And they do it. And then um, I shake a little salt and pepper on it and a little mayo. And then I get Doritos. And I'm ready to go. I got a Diet Coke. All Diet Coke and I didn't put any ice in it. Honey, you think I'm gonna pay for ice when I got free ice at home? You're dead wrong, you're dead wrong, okay? So, I just gotta, I haven't had this in so long. Mmm. Mmm. Give him a shot of that. Mm. So the good news is, and three of you guys sent me um, this article or post. So shout out to you guys, Jenny, Peter, and Amy. Um, Taco Bell, March 11th, mark your calendars, bringing back potato items. I know they already brought back the fries though. And that's what I already kind of was a little suspicious about it because I was like, but the fries are back. My, my favorite potato item is the Cheesy Fiesta potatoes. So that's what I'm most excited for. It's on the calendar. It's going to take a, take a, I just, I, the only thing that's in the way of me and the potatoes now is time. And uh, I just hope I'll, I just hope I'll live that long. That's all I can really say. Oh, where's that napkin? Yeah, I put chips in my sandwich all the time. Makes it so much better and crunchy and yummy. Mm. Mm. I guess I'm like a mess eater. Yeah, I'm a loud eater. Mmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. My boyfriend hates the way I eat and drink. He looks at me disgustedly. So I always want to eat by myself. Mm. Anyway. Another YouTuber I watch, her name is Chelsea Lynn, and she plays a character called Trailer Trash Tammy, and she does mukbangs on YouTube, and she's really funny, and... Um, she has a live show tonight with her and her friends, and I think it's like partially skits and partially, you know, some live stuff. And I, I don't really don't know, but her and all her group of friends she has in her videos and are really funny. And also Theo Vaughn is a comedian that I really like. I listen to his podcast as well. It's going to be in this comedy special. So it's about 7 o'clock right now, and the show starts at like 9. I bought it. It's like a virtual thing. So hopefully that'll be cool and fun. I've never really done one of those online shows virtual events i guess but um yeah so i listened to that podcast theo vaughn's podcast and i listened to also oh i don't know what their show is called actually christine christine and tommy now i don't even remember their last names but they're two comedians they make fun of people a lot which i don't like but um they're funny and crazy and they do some live live shows too that I haven't attended yet but I hear yeah those live shows are absolutely insane so maybe I'll hit 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 up maybe I'll hit up what am I talking like that for one of those shows in the future 
Oh, the podcast that they have, Tommy and Christine, is called Your Mom's House. And I also listen to Tiger Belly, which is um, Bobby Lee and Kalila. <clears throat> so, love those. Mm. Mm -mm. I just love food so much. I have this dress, which is pretty cute. But since I'm wearing like a push-up bra, it's kind of almost coming apart there. And it's from Shein.com. I buy literally everything from Shein.com. It's so cheap. Yeah, the clothes are so cheap. Actually, I, because I have a fashion YouTube channel too, and they had reached out to me and they used to um, send me a lot of clothes in exchange for video reviews. Actually, well, that's just how, that's how it works for me. Like my channel, oh, my fashion channel is at almost 100,000 100, subscribers. I've been doing YouTube for, uh, I think 13 years. I maybe, might have, no, I don't know, 13 or 17 years. I don't even know. <laughs> But, yeah, so. So I've been at it for a long time, so I'm excited that the channel's almost reaching that, even though I'm not in YouTube's good graces on that channel. I could tell you more about that channel and what it's like at all, if you're interested, but. Um, yeah, I rarely, like, nobody get, pays me, really, to do fashion videos, so they used to give me Oh, this is a reminder of my Fitbit to track the food I ate today. <laughs> no, honey, we only track food when we're when we're on track. That's for damn sure. Anyway, yeah, they used to send me a lot of clothes, but now I just buy them myself because it's just kind of easier because I could, I could do a video with whatever I want. They used to send like six items, and then you know I'd feel the pressure to. They'd start asking where the video is, and then a video with six items takes like a hell of a lot longer. So. Mm. I was gonna get Domino's because I've been watching Trisha Peta. She has like the Domino shirt, like as if she works there. And I saw it went viral that she like works at Domino's and she just makes it look so good. Mm. So, I'm actually in Florida right now, and it's not hot here. I thought it was going to be, like, warm. I thought it was, like, beach weather in January. Yay, awesome. But, honestly, I think I need to go further south because it's, like, it was, like, 60 degrees today. Cold, like, well, it was sunny for a minute, and then... Now it's like raining. It was, and then clouds came in. It's just not what I expected for Florida. Not at all. <laughs> but I'm kind of kidding because it's still. I mean, it's Florida. It's beautiful. But I am like. I don't really like talking about like where I am and stuff because there's a lot of like weirdos online and, and I'm serious. So I'm kind of, I really don't know what to do because I want to share my life. Like I want to share vlogs and stuff, but I don't want to share like where I am ever. Because people are so crazy that I don't know what to do. Like I don't know if I could vlog anymore. I don't know what's best for me, you know? 
I don't know what to do. But yeah, I'm kind of trying to get into real estate actually. Like house flipping or something? I don't I have these like like random ideas. Like as of last night I want to do house flipping. Oh, okay, right. When? I don't know, but I already saw a house today. But yeah, I am like that. Like next, 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 next thing. What else? What else? What else? You know? Yeah. Uh, oh. Mm. I guess I don't really know what else to talk about or maybe I even talk too much it's just be like more eating because like that I could do mm. I love to fall asleep. I hope you guys are doing well. I feel like a lot of my life has like cha changed recently, you know? Like, my mom was still living in the house that I grew up in, and my grandpa too. And yeah, just a lot happened recently. I'm sure a lot has happened for you guys too this past year or so. You know, I had I had three grandparents, three gra living grandparents, like I had most of my life. My other grandparent had passed away when I was like four, so I never really knew them. And then my grandma passed away, and my grandpa sold that house that I grew up in, and my mom sold her house that she, you know, that I, that I also grew up in down the street, and my other grandma died. And I didn't get to be with her for months and months because of COVID. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. And then she died in the hospital alone. And it's just really sad. That really hit me on. What day? Oh, it was like New Year's Eve. That was rough. And my boyfriend, too. He misses his mom. So, just like, but those, those places, the houses and the memories are so vivid now, especially because like they're, they're more distance, distanced, but I feel like in my mind, I can walk through those houses. I know them inside and out. I have a beautiful memory that I'd like to try and paint. It's going to come out like crap, but like my childhood was so good. It was, I wish everybody could have a childhood like I did. Cause like just my grandparents were the best. My parents are great too, My but my grandparents just spoiled me and my brother so much. And we would just sit in the living room watching TV. They would just bring us food and wait on us. If we got sick, they would bring us up. They, they gave us a bell and they would wait on us. And they had a fireplace. They'd make a fire. They'd make, put beds in front of the fire, bring us food and have us, you know, watch TV in front, in front of the fire. It was just so beautiful. Everything gorgeous beautiful memories that like I couldn't even imagine I just couldn't even make up and we'd watch like Oliver and these musicals and our life was like a musical or a Disney movie or something my grandpa's just like Mr. Rogers He's just like Mr. Rogers. He's so, so nice and he taught me so much. And what I feel like I was set up <laughs> I'm, I'm happy in my life like with what I'm doing because it's the choices that I made for myself and I carved out this path and this is what I want to do. 
But I just, I think I sometimes I wish that I could have done some, I don't wish that, I don't know what to say. I just, you want to make your family like proud, right? Like I just, I don't want them to ever think that they did something wrong, you know? I think our parents and grandparents have an idea of what they want for us. Sometimes it might be something that they wish that they had themselves, right? It's just in an ideal world, I think that what my parents and grandparents might have wanted for me would have aligned with what I wanted for myself and I would have made it happen and they would have been happy for me and I would have been happy for me, you know, but that's not reality. That goes the same for kids and grandkids. Like they never told me that they wanted me to do anything one way or the other, but I still feel disappointed sometimes that I don't want kids and I don't, obviously majority of my grandparents are gone. They're never going to see grandchildren because I had and I feel like because I didn't do it I didn't give it to them you know my brother I don't know if he's gonna have kids or not but you know I just feel like it's my I feel bad a little bit that my parents don't have as fulfilling of a life as they could have if they had grandchildren like I'm sure that they imagine when they had their kids that their kids would have kids and there'd be grandchildren and that's what life usually is but what if you're me and I don't know what's in store for my brother, and we both don't have kids. It just, I feel bad that for them, it could have been different for them. It could have been more fulfilling for them, probably, if they had grandchildren. And that's not a reason for me to have kids, though. You know what I mean? I can't do that just to paint a picture or whatever. So those are some things, that, some major things that I think about from time to time. But I have to let it go because I can't, I can't have kids because I think possibly my parents would have found it more fun. You know, I can't choose a different career path because my family might have wished that I did something else. I worked a nine to five job. That's not fulfilling. I didn't feel good about that. I felt I felt demeaned there, replaceable there in corporate America. Nobody cares about you. You don't make enough money. You're not appreciated. You don't have freedom. You know, you're on call. You're expected to do this and that. You're, you're expected to act like the professional version of yourself, like a robot, you know? Fuck that. Well, I have a few chips, chips left, but I think I bored you enough. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the sandwich looked tasty. And I don't know. I hope you found someone interesting, anything that I said, if not an insight into somebody else's life and mine. And that's what I actually miss from YouTube. God, I love the vloggers that just do nothing in their house. Maybe I'll just vlog inside my house. But um, I'm going to have a whole new set and everything soon. A whole new set. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. So February, early February, I think my content's going to be better. And, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah. And thank you so much for watching this video. Seriously, I love making these and talking with you. So like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.